More than a week after several tornadoes ravaged the Spalding County area this morning, there is another step forward in recovery. Today, students in Griffin Spalding County returned to class for the first time since those devastating storms, but school officials say they're going to take it slow. Jerry Carnes is live this morning for us at Orris Elementary School in Griffin. A really big step ahead. Yeah, but we understand it's not going to be a full day of classes, Jerry. Is that right? Good morning, Cheryl. That's exactly right. A half day today. Students and teachers won't get back to full days until Monday. We're already starting to see buses moving here around Ord Elementary School in Griffin on a day that administrators are calling a crawl before you walk day. They want to ease everyone back into a full routine with healing in mind. The school district is well aware that a lot of students and their families are struggling. At least 900 families with students in Griffin Spalding County Schools cannot go back home. Many of them are in hotels or shelters. At least 5% of school employees have been displaced. Today is going to focus on the emotional state of students. Here is Shannon Shirley speaking about her nine-year-old son who will be returning to school today. And you'll also hear from Adam Pugh of the Griffin Spalding County School System. He's finally just now starting to be able to sleep through the night. He's, he's, he was having nightmares just like me to witness it firsthand. He was absolutely terrified. We wanted to get our kids back and, and assess the social emotional needs, talk about uh, how to process what they've seen and what they've experienced, some personally and some, you know, they've seen it and heard it among their peers. Now, teachers here in Griffin Spalding County have been out and about the last few days uh, finding students who have been displaced and checking on them. School bus drivers have also been out and about to check the roadways. Of course, many roads around in this area a week ago were covered with trees due to the devastating tornado here. Back to you. Jerry, thank you.